Hello and welcome to this FreeCAD video tutorial. My name is Regis and I'll be taking you through FreeCAD. So, um, first of all, let me bring up the FreeCAD version. There you go. All right. So last time um, we were talking about this drawing, and um, I'm just going to show you this other plan just to show you how. Um, I changed my mind again and this plan evolved to be this but I'm going to show you uh, the, how to get to this kind of result so this was the purpose of last tutorial so let's um, let's get into it so these are the objects that we created last time I just noticed that we didn't do uh, the windows um, so let's quickly do the windows just like we have the doors here um, so I'm going to go back to the, um, the draft workbench all right so maybe we want to do a window which is um let's see how thick to do we want it to be um let's see let me use this tool the start survey so this point two meters all right so maybe we want to do the same thing for the windows as well uh we probably want a window that's one meter wide just uh, to start with it uh, we can always change that later so we're going to draw a little box here um, we're going to tell it to be uh, let's see um, I'm going to do it the easy way let's take a line draw one meter enter and then I'm going to maybe uh, take a little box and uh, snap this or I want the vertical one yeah this one right here snap right there select that box move command move that bring it right here and then take that and copy to the side like this and we can draw another line from here to here and then we can draw a line from the middle like this we're starting to see little window up here and uh, what can we do maybe we can create um, the window um, the window glass so we're gonna draw a little square like this and then select that rectangle come here I want to take the little dimension and make it even smaller so it's gonna be the 0 0.1 meters so I'm gonna go maybe for 0 0.02 like that looking good so I'm just going to move it to the middle move alright so it's not in this guy I'm gonna hide it temporarily um and move that right here copy and move all right so and then bring back the other guy there you go so that is something that looks like a window right there looking good that will do for now so we can group this of course I'll make this into a compound uh, tools actually part part compound make compound and we're gonna call this rename one meter window there you go probably make the lines here one and it's looking good so there you go we have our window right there so now so now that we have these general elements we can begin to throw in some elements in the general size that we're working with remember last time we were talking about um, a 45 square meter so uh, let me select that box again and come here and assess the information of the box so the box is 6 meter by 7.5 it doesn't have a face so I can make it true and I can go and start a survey and I can just click there and it tells me 
directly what's the area of that surface so I know we're dealing with the 45 meters square so that being said let me turn that back off make false all right so now that we have our objects it's easy to, for us to just drag them inside and kind of appreciate the kind of space that we are, we are going to be working with so for example let's reconstruct the bathroom so we have here some bathroom elements in this box here allows you us to identify the sizes that need to be inside of the of the toilet so that it meets some code requirements so I can just copy these guys like so copy bring them to the side and I can take the bath copy that uh, didn't snap from the right corner take that cup uh, actually I don't want to copy I want to move that I can move that right here so it's looking good so this is just a guide to kind of tell me um, to kind of tell me what the minimum space around my my toilet should be so I'm probably gonna make it um, dash dash dotted maybe dash dot like this line with one just so it doesn't you know it doesn't stand out as an object itself um maybe change the color as well <coughs> line color and probably make that orange okay it's looking good okay so now I want to copy this guy copy that bring that there and so now that I have this length here um, right here this I know how wide my bathroom can be so if I guesstimate that I need a door for example let's say um, you know I've got this box here so to speak um, about it's not yet precise there so let's say I have this box here so to speak um, and I want maybe um, an entrance into the bathroom from the from the bottom take, take that guy off um, okay everybody else seems normal all right so uh, maybe you're entering from this side from the bottom in like this or maybe you're entering from the side like this um, so this gives an opportunity for better placement this gives two orientation for better placement of the bathroom so I'm gonna make this um, kind of false make face false so I can work with because I want, I'm, not, I'm unable to snap inside when it's the face so I'm gonna rotate that just so it looks like it has the right orientation uh, rotate that and then move that onto the wall don't copy I just want to move that right there okay so it's looking good now so then what I can do is I can take this door I can copy this and bring him sort of right here like so so now this begins to tell me the kind of space that I'm working with so I say okay well it's working it's kind of working um, you know so now I want to assess the length and I say okay so if this bathroom shower and you know had a door and you know, this door swing had to kinda you know bump into the door swing of the the bathroom entrance door so this is a little problem so maybe I want to stretch this a little bit and give it more space so I'm going to assess how much space I need uh, approximately um, so maybe I'm going to need uh, how long is this uh, 0 0.9 okay maybe um, I can also create a 0 0.9 length negative 0 0.9 meters enter and and then draw another line like this and then take this guy and then copy move him down about this much 
well now I have a big bedroom so now in this box I can delete that and create a new box yes delete that and I'm going to start from right here and draw a box there and I can just simply delete these other guys and then make this a false so there you go so now I quickly have something that gives you an appreciation of the size of my bathroom you know um, total length would be 2.75 meters I can work with that that's you know we're not talking for crowded bathroom we're just talking confident uh, conveniently sized and so this this sink looks a little bit out of uh, out of a uh, size maybe um, it would have some kind of cabinetry going on like this perhaps um, but this is already good enough so now I have an idea I can create a second option real quick as well I can select all these elements maybe I want to um, edit a box selection and do this and probably copy this to the side like this and in this option I can delete this door right there and I can bring this other door like so uh, right there so I have a different way of entering into the bathroom so so now that I have these two options ready I can uh, just take the unit and you know plug it into uh, the drawing so I'm going to um, let's see shift select again select that I'm going to copy that again oops did I copy that nope um, box select copy and then what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna simply group that um, part part and create compound make compound okay so I have a new compound here um, so now I'm going to copy this And bring it inside here now I'm going to delete this guy <coughs> shift select delete alright so now I've got something to work with I'm going to make this a little bit bold so that I could clearly visualize um, my boundary lines come here line width make that five of six seven that's good enough so now I have this guy make that line with one it's, it's pretty good okay uh, make that transparency 80 it's looking good so I can just grab this now and maybe not copy that move him to the side like this so now I can tell I, I can fit I can fit a win a bathroom there so now I know that if I can draw a box here like this then I can select this rectangle and then offset that copy and then this too falls and then probably delete this one I don't need this one okay so it, there you can see I quickly have a boundary for the wall of my bathroom so very quickly I can kind of already have an appreciation of uh, the placement of my bound of my bathroom so now I can say well maybe I don't want the bedroom there I can take this bedroom and move him right here not bad um, provides for uh, a bedroom it fits well into the space 
maybe I don't want it that way I want it facing the other position so I'm gonna rotate that like this okay this is more interesting uh, why do I say it's more interesting because then you can sort of have a placement for um, any kind of locker here or closet maybe uh, like let me show you what I mean so I can draw a little uh, 0.6 mil uh, 0.6 meter wide uh, closet here um, let's see it's going to be the shorter value so 0.6 here okay so there you go I can now take this guy simply move him down onto the edge of this wall and I can draw an extension of this wall like this just to lock that in and I'm going to make that false I'm going to make this false and just for easy visualization I can uh, maybe just draw an X here just to indicate okay so then this can be slightly bold or actually this can be thin like this okay so that means that if I can enter my bedroom and basically access my closet there that means that technically I can have a door um, sort of right here in the most efficient model you know very small bedroom nothing complex so what I can now do in this sense is I can now guesstimate a good value um, for a bedroom, for a bedroom. Um, how long is this line? This is about 3.55 meters. That looks okay to me. So I can just um, move my door in position. Do not copy. Move that here. Okay and so now I can draw the boundary lines of my bathroom of my bedroom uh, snap right there and snap right there and I can make this a false and I can offset this copy and offset that make that a false as well and there you go I have the walls of my boundary so I got two different walls here one is a little thicker than the other one so I need to assess what's going on I use this as a reference as 0 0.2 and that's 0 0.2 but something isn't right height 0 0.2 okay so this is the true 0 0.2 let's find out what's going on okay that looks alright this also looks alright so something's not accurate here Okay, I think I found the culprit. Delete, nope, don't delete that. Oh, okay, so I made a group with this line, which is not accurate because it's not straight. So I can just um, break that like this. Mm, not a smart idea 
delete that. Um, I'm going to select this again. I'm going to fix that here. Okay. From this edge. To this edge. Take this. Move this down like this. So now you, I delete you. I can draw a new box like this. Okay, it's looking good. False, and I can delete you and you. So now I can simply make you. into a compound again and I can copy you again the reason I copy is because I want to break the link of the compound um, and combining it to one object like like here you can see that compound still maintains the link of all its object but this object here it's uh, a combined compound so it's easy to work with when you are defined with what you want so here I want to probably adjust transparency value a little bit and also the line width and so now that I have a new line I can draw a new offset value Okay, so I'm going to offset this by this much. Okay. So, which line is this again? That's the old guy that goes away. I'm going to make that false okay and I'm going to shift everybody else down that tiny space I am a bit nerd when it comes to accuracy not copy just move it down like so and who is this this guy didn't move down as well with this door we're gonna do that now and who is this too many lines delete that guy and I'll probably move you to be aligned with this and delete you I'll probably delete you too because a lot of inconsistencies in the air do that do that And do that. Dub, 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 dub. Line with one. Good. Now we are in business. Okay, let's try this again. Snatch me a square right here. And then offset a copy zero point two meters looking good and false as well and false as well. Good. So now we have our bedroom, very tiny bedroom. Everything's looking good. 
so let's assess the circulation we don't even know where we want our entry right here I'm just showing you how you can quickly place things and just appreciate uh, what the space provides you with um, so now that I know that maybe I want my kitchen here because I want the plumbing to be all close together so I can select this guy and copy this guy um hold on maybe I want how wide do I want this kitchen to be um, maybe we want something about three meters wide so we can select this Center of that 1.5 like this. Okay, and so now I can just um, kind of stretch this a little bit like this, stretch edit and bring that here, finish and then I'm going to extend this and take that line again edit snap him right there finish edit Let's take him right here and do this finish and so there you go we have a nice looking kitchen Delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. So that's a nice kitchen. So now let's try our seating. Okay, copy this. Let's see. Seems that sitting can go right here, fine. So that um, you can have, you can watch TV on this side, maybe. I guess. Let's try that. Good to rotate this. Let me think about this for a moment, because I want the maximum, you know, navigable space here. So. Um, you don't want to have a lot of barriers or things clouding up the circulation. Um, this is already a good corridor uh, to walk along these walls until you get into this kind of pocket space. So maybe uh, w working with this space here, you know, actually let me create the space. Um, corridors usually, I like to give them 1.2 meters wide. Um, so it's going to be here 1.2 okay there you go so then I can just um, stretch another box probably like this and delete this one so I have my navigable space before you land into this pocket so what do I want to do? Um, it's a few interesting options. I really don't have a direction because this is just a tutorial that I'm showing you. But I want to create something kind of just genuinely cool off the bat like that. So 
um, just trying to imagine something that could give you a you know, nice working floor plan. This is already good enough for a tiny um, w workable space. Um, so let's see. Let's see. Um, if I'm if I can get into the house this way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tiny pocket here where I can fit in this sofa. So I'm just going to take that and move it here just about. Um, for this I'm going to assume that I already have a corridor here. Um, so I'm going to offset that to create a wall offset this about 0 0.2 copy that so that's going to be my wall in fact I just want a line this time not a genuine offset like this so I can delete this yes okay I'm going to also make this maybe transparent so I can still see you and change your color a little bit to brown I suppose okay all right so in this simple pocket I want I'm going to mirror this guy like this and then copy you as well Now, what if I had something like this? I copied you right there. So that I have this open space. It feels very wide. Um, okay. Architecture at hand, you know, this is where you have to think, but I have to think fast because I don't want this tutorial to be too lengthy, so I have to think fast. Um, okay, so damn it, let's just go with my wits. Um, it's just a tutorial after all, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm probably move that about this much strange move that here okay like this so now I can take control of this area so I will do this and um, probably do this that and you know what it'll be a lot easier to work with a box so I'll just draw a box like this I'll delete this make this a face a false face select that and offset a copy no Offset a copy. As you open two meters. 
falls. Okay. So we're starting to have a shape of something here. Alright. So what I'm going to do next is that... Well, if I put the sofa here, then there's no interaction with this area, so maybe... Well, there's going to be an interaction. I want this to be an outdoor area that's going to maintain communication. So there's going to be a window here. So yeah, you can have a nice sitting here and you can also have a nice sitting here. And sitting can be rearranged here as well. But I want a door that takes you outside on the other side. And probably I want a scenario where this area of the wall is completely sealed off. So we're going to say you probably have two meters more of space. So this is going to be two meter. Oh, no, nah, that's too much for this kind of tiny spaces. 1.5 in the front and 1.5 in the back. Um, do not copy that. Move that here, but I want to snap it there to this wall. that and then copy this and bring this here so that at least there's gonna be windows on each side and I can still love this area to create an, a type of tight urban scenario so I'm going to offset this by 0 0.4 just to the thickness of the partition wall like this and probably do this do that so now I can do this all right there you go we have our elements I'm going to make this a very dark color like this actually let's just call it the screen this blue will scroll be better copy this copy and copy okay so there you go, we have our partition wall, I'm going to delete that, we don't need that anymore. Uh, this sofa is annoying. Okay. So you're going to see how this shape is starting to reveal itself. So now let me fill in the blanks very quickly. <coughs> so I want a door here on this side. Maybe copy this guy copy what if I had a door right next to the wind to the kitchen it's gonna be a, a gentle tiny offset
or you know what I'm having second thoughts about this space because kitchen's not functioning well here but uh, like I said let me just uh, let me just push forward with this idea okay so now that that's done I probably want a door this door this door and put him right here bingo so we have a door that takes you in and then you have this nice simple pocket here I keep thinking that maybe I want the kitchen sink to be here and have this kind of be some type of internal court you know so you have this entrance but see uh, the interaction with this is not well suited because you can't have this corridor taking you into the living room slash the kitchen and then that takes you away from the plumbing which that's the reason I put this kitchen here it makes it much more efficient to have the plumbing all centered in one corner. Eh, I'm just gonna go ahead with this idea. They make it easy for the tutorial. Okay, so you have the door there. It takes does that, does that. Alright. So I'm gonna delete this. It's a bit confusing. So at this point I think it's already fairly easy to see the overall shape of things so now I can take this and offset him also like this I can get um, I can get the external boundary as well offset copy there you go so now I have something to draw it I can make this a false face okay so let's try something now let me take this window, move him up by one notch. Okay. So now let's try something. At this point, we have an idea. We have a door here. Let's put our window, copy this, copy that from the center. Let's put a window here. Okay. Now let's put another window. Right there. Okay. There's our second window. Now let's drag this and create another window here. Take this, drag another window here. Okay. So let's get started with this. So now we have these basic elements and we can start to fill in the blanks. So now we're going to take the polyline tool. I'm going to also make this a false face so it doesn't hinder us. False. So I'm just going to start at one of these edges like this. Snap right there come all the way here and do this 
so yeah I, I didn't snap at this corner so I can click the undo and then now uh, I have a new opportunity to snap it where I want to snap and then enter here snap there snap there right there so all the closed boundaries that will create the wall excluding the openings like this and then I continue my journey I pick all of the elements that I want to keep in this case I do not wish to go on in that direction so I'm gonna do this and do that and do this alright so I omitted to hide this face false face ok now let me delete that last wire ok let's try that again one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. And then here, one, two, undo that. Undo that. like this undo this There you go. And we've got the shape here. There you go. And this one last shape. We could just draw a rectangle here, but for the sake of it, I'm just gonna draw the box around it. Oops, undo that. There you go. So now, to show you the overall thing, I'm going to delete this. Yes. Delete this, yes. Delete this as well. Delete that, delete that. Delete this, delete that, delete it. Delete. Okay, that one is still the block. Delete this guy. And perhaps delete this. Delete that as well. This is the house boundary, so I can make this line thin again. Uh, talking about you line with thin 
make this one and make it dashed yep I'll hide you for now so there you go so you, you can start to see um, I'm going to break this a bit and do that maybe not like that just we'll delete this I'm gonna come here and copy these guys copy and bring them right here so now I can delete this there you go Okay, we get something. Um, one more guy here. Hide this and hide that. So I can now select this D wires, make a line take a little bit thicker, and then what next? I can also change the color so it stands out better. So this is how you create a floor plan, a general floor plan in FreeCAD that would meet the requirement of what you're looking for. So I hope you liked it and uh, leave me your comments and tell me what you think. Thank you.